we know that childhood obesity is just taking off in epidemic ways. And um, for a child who's aged two to five, the rate of childhood obesity has more than doubled. And in children six to 11, it has tripled over the last three decades. So as we see obesity climbing in our country overall, it's really alarming to see it in a child when those patterns of diet and eating and nourishment are set for a lifetime. So we want to address childhood obesity particularly. And breastfeeding has been shown to be a protective element in preventing childhood overweight and obesity. And we know that if a child is breastfed, he's almost eight times less likely to be obese as a kid. So really important when you're looking at that six to 11 year old. The science isn't conclusive about how it works that it's protective. It may have something to do with satiety influences, that feeling of fullness and so you turn away from the table. We know that people who are overweight do a lot of emotional eating, it isn't just nutritive eating. And so when children are breastfed, we don't see what goes in. You know, it's hard for us to measure. And so a mom will feed her baby until the baby pulls away and is sleepy and satisfied and the baby gets to determine how full he is. When you're bottle feeding a baby, you do tend to encourage that last drop that's in the bottle or wiggle him awake until he gets that last little ounce that you want to get so that he'll have a longer sleep or whatever it is that's operative in the mom's mind. So it's really important to understand that if the baby gets to determine satiety, they get to determine their feeling of fullness and that might be a behavior that goes on throughout childhood. The other thing that we aren't clear on the science on, and probably all of these contribute to why it protects you against overweight, but we know that there are things in breast milk, human hormones and factors, immune globulins, and we don't completely understand the way all those hormones work in our bodies, but they may contribute to fat cells signaling on and off. So it's an important piece for us to keep researching and keep understanding.